Hello the people universe, this is Hoobian Wizard and welcome back to another video and today in this video we are once again going to be playing Minecraft communities as we so often are on this channel and yeah as you can see it is a little bit of an odd video maybe by the title I'm not entirely sure but in the last video we completed building the uh, radio station and today we are going to be interviewing some people in it uh, so I'm not going to do, ooh, there we go um, I, I thought I was going to make it then uh, so, for the time being, uh, I'm not going to tell you who they are. Actually, I will. We're going to be interviewing uh, Dr. Peterson. We're going to be interviewing the dogs. We're going to be interviewing uh, Mod, Lord Moderator. Uh, wait, is that her name? Yes, it is. And um, then we're going to be interviewing Laurie as the final guest of today. Um, actually, maybe the first. Yeah, let's go with the first. So, doggos, you can all stand up because we're all going to be going to the same place. Uh, there you go, Lelo, and there you go, Gracie. Let's all head out the one door, try not to eat each other. And, yeah, let's go. So, the doc, I told him to meet us there, like, a couple of minutes ago. So, he should already be in there. But I'll just have to make sure that he hasn't done a runner. Um, so, yeah. Let's just uh, go over there. There it is in all its glory. Um, I finished off the roof a little bit. Uh, nothing else too much. And the interior is pretty basic in what it is. Like, it's just a radio station, really. It's called the Radio Gaga Radio Station, named after the song. And, Doc, you are here. I see you're dressed very fancily today, actually. Nice to make an effort sometimes, I suppose. Um, come on, dogs. Oi, come in. Dogs, don't be scared. Come in here. Come in here, and who are we missing? Um, I don't actually know who we're missing. There we go, you can come in. I'm just going to sit you down and push you in, because you don't seem to want to come in anyway. Um, so let's close the door behind me. No, Doc, 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 no, no, bad Doc, bad. You're not allowed to escape. Okay, he doesn't want to escape, he just wants to stand there. Okay, you can stand there for now, okay? But you're going to have to come in in a minute. So as you can see, I've got this little light here, so when it, uh, we're on air, I'll flick this lever and this light will turn on, so everyone in the radio station should hopefully shut up. And we're not on air yet, so I won't uh, switch that. So this is the microphone. So currently it is off, but as soon as I flick it, it will become on. Um, and then we've got the little jukebox here for some musical interludes a bit later. Uh, we've got the little laptop here, so then we can be able to see what we're talking about today. Uh, this is where the interviewee will be sat. Uh, that's where the interviewer will be sat. That's me. Um, and in here, it's sort of like a little music booth. A uh, little microphone down here. I sort of struggled a little bit designing these microphones because normally they're sort of like coming down from the walls and I couldn't really think of a way to do that properly. Uh, so this is the best that I've got. So, yeah. Um, I suppose if we start the radio show and what I'll do is I'll uh, open it. I'll do a standard sort of radio opener and then I'll go out and get our first guest. So, three, two, one. Hello there, people of the Radio Gaga radio station radio show, where we like radios, as you can tell by our title. So, today we are going to be interviewing a range of guests, including Admiral Avery himself, including Dr. Peterson, and including all of the dogs. So, for now, let's just leave you with some music and I'll go and grab our first ever guest. Okay, so I've muted this. Um, what I need to do is I need to play Chirp in there. So, that will be playing. And hello, Laurie, are you here? Hang on a second, let me just make sure that we can all hear you loud and clear. Are you here? Hello there. Hello. I wonder where your dogs have gone. I didn't see them in the dog house and I panicked. <laughs> no, they're, they're all here with me and it seems Doc's gone and done a runner. So, um, yeah, I've used about that too. Um, I'm so, a radio job, my good man. So if you follow me through here, and I forgot to turn that on air, like, so if you come through here, if you sit down in the interviewee chair, just over there. No, that, that, that's a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so uh, as all good radio presenters do, I'm going to cut off the song just before it ends. So let's come in now. 
So as you could hear, that was Chirp by um, C418, a music disc only available in Minecraft now. Okay, so as you can hear, we are now joined by our first guest. Say hello. 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 So, what's your name? Bill. What's your age? Bill. Where do you live? <laughs> Bill. What's your bank account details? 0800 00 Um. So what do you think about the recent developments around this town then? Including this place, the giant Rubik's Cube, the Bits and Bob shop, Big Tom? Well, I... 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 <coughs> <coughs> I believe that the uh, most incredible thing is that uh, excellent estate over there. I've just <laughs> pointed out to it with my incredible diamond pickaxe. For those people only listening, he has in fact just put a hole in my wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that estate over there is incredible. The Crowby estate. It is a pretty good estate. And now we've got an extra light source in here as well, just to keep all the meanie yeah, beanies right. out. So, also, what are your plans for the future of your estate, as many people are wondering? I'm going to build a big hole, and I'm going to put a city in that big hole. I was originally planning to put a zeppelin in, but I realised my zeppelin sucks, so I'm building a city inside the big hole. Was it a lead zeppelin, but um, Tish? Yes. Okay. It's, uh, and in there is going to be a dwarf city. Uh, we won't be in the mount. We won't be... Uh, King, I won't be king in the mountain, I'm going to be king in the big hole. Seems about good. So, what are your plans? What do you think should my oh, plans I be? I found some spare light, blue, I spare, I some light blue concrete. Let me just get rid of this uh, piece of glowstone with incredible precision and accuracy with this diamond pickaxe. And replace it. For those only Excellent. listening yeah, on the radio, them. he just broke away the glowstone he had previously placed and replaced the wall. And apparently tile drops us off. So, what what are your opinions that I, as the Whovian wizard, should be aspiring to next? I believe you should aspire to be like uh, this pair of boots. I think you should wear them. I think you oh, very yes. Nice and... Very, very nice pair of boots there. Just yeah. replace as, them as with the my... As the Whovian wizard, I believe that uh, a performance of a great musical number from a historic event should be performed in the coming weeks or so. What is that said song that you would like me to sing first? I, well, I don't know. I think yeah, I think more of a grand concert. Maybe in a what, few weeks or so. What song should be played first at that grand concert? I believe the song that should be played at first, I'll just, I'll speak into the microphone, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, you see now, I believe the song that should be played first is called... Uh, Bill. Okay, I'm just going to leave you with another musical interlude of Yet Again Chirp, and when we'll come back you will hear Bill. Okay, so we're off air now, as you can see. So thank you for your mighty interview. Um, if you just want to let yourself out, um, we should... Thank you. Um, you've just about gone out of hearing range now, so when we come back on air, I'm going to perform the musical Bill on this hereby microphone and this hereby music studio. Okay. So, once again, chirp. You can come out of the jukebox. Right, so once again, that was Chirp by C418. So, let's go into the musical stand and perform Laurie's favourite song, Bill. Bill, 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 Bill Nye the science guy, Bill Nye the computer science guy, Bill Nye, I don't know this song, Bill, Bill, Bill. Okay, that was Laurie's favourite song, Bill. So, now we are back on track, let's try and... Invite one of the dogs in here. Lelo, you seem to be very eager and you seem to want to come in here first. It seems that the dog has in fact vanished from our radio station. But hey, that sometimes happens, I suppose. Here you go. This is your fancy seat if you just be seated over there. Uh, over on this fancy wooden chair. Very comfortable for our guests. 
So, dog. What are your opinions on the dog house and how often you get fed by the Hoovian wizard? Good. So, so for those of you that don't speak dog, he did just say he likes it. He's very glad to be on this radio show. Goodbye. So that seems like the end of his interview. Uh, let me just leave you with once again, chirp, and I will grab our next interviewee. Okay, so we're off air again. Let's go around here. Come on, doggo. I said, come on, doggo. I think I can hear Doc Peterson. Ah, oh, Doc! Doc, come back! <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Doc. Okay. He doesn't... He's just sort of there. Okay, Doc. You can do whatever you feel like, okay? I'm not going to make you be someone you're not. Okay, time for our final interview then, because I don't want this radio show to be on for too long. So, come over here, doggo. She you going to come in, loyalty? Hello, loyalty. <laughs> loyalty, come in. Oi, dog. There we go. Oh, uh, no. Oh, wait, he's just... He's really eager. He's jumping on all the equipment. Oh, wow, we've never had this sort of eager uh, interviewee before. Admittedly, we've never had really any interviewee before. We've only had two. But hey, there we go. So, let's go up here. And... Okay, so Chirp, once again, by C418, as this is the only song we here at the Radio Gaga radio station have any licensing to other than Bill and Radio Gaga, but that's not the point. So, Loyalty, how are you? For those of you that don't speak dog, he said very good. So, what does it feel like to be the first and oldest dog in the community world? For those of you that don't speak dog again, he said it's very good, he feels very privileged, and he would like to continue being the oldest dog for as long as possible. So I assume that doesn't entail do dying then. No, for those of you that say, uh, that don't speak dog in the audience, he just said no. So we'll leave you with that then. This was our first ever radio station, Radio Gaga radio show, live to your ears right here right now there may be another one there may not be depending on whether we can be bothered because that's how things work at the radio gaga radio station radio show so i thank you all and goodbye okay so that was the radio show then um so one thing uh that i do just want to do uh actually the dogs can follow me now is um oh hello I'm just going to go and take the dogs over to see Mr. Pando, the new panda friend. So, you can come over here. And, yeah, so, I was planning for a video the other day. And I was just sort of strolling around in the uh, general vicinity of the jungle. And I happened to find um, Mr. Pando. I tried to name him Mr. Panda, but I spelt his name wrong. So, therefore, it is Mr. Pando. And I built him a little shack down here. Uh, but probably in the next video, we're going to be building him a new house right next to uh, Lord Moderator's house. And yeah, it should be pretty fancy. Uh, also, the radio show thing um, that will be going up later today as you're watching this. Um, it's going to be premiered, just the actual audio of it. And I'm going to add the actual songs in and stuff. And it's going to have like a snazzy little intro to it. And it's going to be like a proper podcast sort of radio show thing. And it should be pretty fancy. So here is Mr. Pando, and he, he, oh, he's doing something really adorable earlier. I'm going to put a picture up screen now of what he was doing earlier. Uh, like, he was on his back, and, like, he was moving his feet around. It was, ooh, what, what, what are you doing? Do I have any bamboo? Oh, I don't have any bamboo. Yeah, I just sort of found him here, and his name is Mr. Pando. So, yeah, we're going to be building a big house for him over uh, by mine. And, uh, yeah, it should be pretty fancy. I'm just going to have to hope that Lord Moderator doesn't mind having a panda neighbour. But hey, that's how things work, I suppose. Do they eat sugar cane, actually? I'm not sure. I'm going to actually replay some of this, though. Because it looked quite nice before I came and destroyed it all. Um, so, let's run over here. Do they or do they not eat sugar cane? He's doing it again! He's doing it! Look! Oh my goodness, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> it's so adorable. Does he like sugar cane? No, he doesn't. You can have some anyway. What, the, what on earth is he doing? It is unbelievably cute and unbelievably weird. 
So I'm just going to sort of like leave it for now. Mr. Pando can do whatever he wants, Mr. P for short. Um, he is 100% going to be a new addition to the Big Man Clan. Um, and yeah, uh, the next video will be online next week as always. Uh, the link will be in the description once it is online. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. A big thank you to Laurie uh, for joining me and his channel will be linked in the description. And yeah, I thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye. Ooh, new fancy boots.